Lori Rinker is with me today, and we're going to talk to you about ground reaction force. Now, there are three types of, of ground reaction forces. Uh, but first of all, I should say that we now understand how important <clears throat> symmetry is through the body to be able to get the power out of the ground, through the body, into the club head. And a lot of that has to do with setup. But one of the things that we know, for example, is that the different core regions res uh, the ground, respond to the ground differently, depending on how they're set up. And grip is a big part of that, and that's what we want to show you today. How grip, how the under position of the grip, or how the on top position impacts um, your ground reaction force. Right, there are three forces. There's a horizontal force, uh, and there is a torque or rotational force, and then there are vertical forces. Dr. Scott Lynn and Mike Adams have coined uh, three terms for those, and they're very easy if you consider the terms. The horizontal, they call glide. Uh, the um, rotational, they call spin. And the verticals, they call launch. So we're going to want you to, you can stand up now if you're viewing this video, and you can go through what Lori's going to show you now. Lori, if you just get find a comfortable stance with. So when you do this, you want to position, Lori, first thing Lori's going to do is position her elbow as close to her chest wall as she can and notice her arm is angled out. Now, Lori, where is your weight going? As soon as I did that, my weight went towards my heels. And they will, okay. Right. So let's take a look now at what happens when you put your hand up. Let your elbow go out. It does. It wants to go out as soon as I do that. And my weight went forward. Okay, now let's go just on the side. So now the elbow came back in a little bit and my weight's right in the middle of my feet. Right in the middle of your feet. Okay, so these are really three grip positions and three delivery positions to the ball. So let's take a look at uh, the kinds of forces. Now we, we, Dr. Robert Giambetti has done 60 subjects and he's determined that by core region, using a swing catalyst by the way, and he's able to, he has some pretty interesting data coming out of that, showing that your upper core player uses rotation and launch. Okay? So let's do this. First of all, Lori, what I want you to do is take the, uh, go to the top with that position. I want you to notice, if you can see on screen, is, where's your weight going? My weight's more yeah, left. Yeah, so you're going to load left. We've eliminated horizontal movement. Exactly. Right. So when Lori, when you come down now, go ahead and start through the finish. As I come down, I want to push up for sure from that And there's position. your vertical ground force. So this grip position, when we look at upper core players, this is called an on top position. This is extreme, what we're showing you. You're not going to see in players that extreme, but just as a point of illustration, <clears throat> that's what that grip will do. Okay, let's go, Lori. Now, we know that, for example, then the under player, under golfer, has more uh, rot rot no, rotation and glide. Right. Okay, so take okay. it to the top from there, and where's your weight? It's definitely more on my right so side. So center of mass moves away from the target, and as you turn through? I definitely have much more unwinding here. And you can see the glide, and she's able to clear her hips much sooner. That's an under delivery. That delivery would be um, Jordan Spieth, Dustin Johnson, and the first delivery uh, would be um, Phil. Phil Mickelson, Patrick Reed, Martin Keimer. Those would be your upper core players. Lower core players, when we measure them, Dr. Giambetti had trouble finding in the, in the general public lower core players. I'm a low core player. We are rare, if you will. Okay? Now, Lori, you're a mid core player. Right. Okay, so, so let's go to a grip that is really, this is called side on, so take it to the top. Now, where's your weight? It feels much more centered here. You're going to find that with a mid-core player, much more centered, and now turning through. You get a little bit of everything. Yes, and that Dr. was a combination of Yeah, and Dr. Giambetti said you'll get spikes on rotation, horizontal as well, and a little bit of launch. So your upper core player uses the ground. <clears throat> They're going to do rotation and launch, vertical. Uh, your lower core player is going to be horizontal and rotational, 
and your mid-core players, the hybrid, and they're going to use a little bit of everything.